Dear friends and colleagues, welcome to the Mangano Digital Academy. I'm very excited to kick off today essential of digital dentistry. Digital technologies are revolutionizing the world of dentistry, but there are still confusions regarding the basic concepts underlying hardware, software and workflows. The purpose of essential of digital dentistry is to definitely clarify some doubts which many colleagues still have. Only from a solid base, it is possible to unlock the potential of the digital dental revolution. Before to start, I would like to thank Kersen Dental and SMOP for sponsoring this initiative that consists in 40 videos covering the details of uh, the world digital dentistry and the world workflows in digital dentistry. Uh, these videos are organized according to the scan plan make done protocol and the series will be available across the Mangano Digital Academy website, social media and the Kerstin Dental social channels. With that, let's get started with uh, the first topic. The first topic we will uh, uh, talk about uh, is the workflow in digital dentistry because it's very important to define the different phases of the work. So our workflow is based essentially on four phases. There's the scan phases uh, with the data acquisition, 3D data acquisition from our patient. Then we have to plan using our software. So we have a data elaboration and after planning we need to make uh, our devices for clinical application. After that, we need to apply these devices clinically. Uh, in this first lecture, I will talk about the Combin computer tomography. So we will focus on the scan phase. And uh, the question is, what is the radiation dose of a Combin computer tomography? The Combin computer tomography appeared in the late 90s as a new technology using a cone-shaped beam and a reciprocating detector which rotates around the patient 360 degrees in order to acquire projected data in a single rotation. And uh, after that it immediately invaded dentistry because it, make, it made the perception of uh, 3D easily acceptable to all dentists. Now Combin computer tomography are in all dental offices around the world because they are really game changer. And uh, the radiation dose is a very important topic when we talk about combined computer tomography. In the early 2000s, when I was in University of Varese with Professor Aldo Macchi, we uh, started to consider uh, these uh, concepts. And basically we need to consider when we talk about radiation dose, we need to consider three different things. The absorbed dose, the equivalent dose, but most of all the effective dose. The effective dose measured in milli or microsiever is the weighted sum of the equivalent doses to the various organs. And uh, there's a corrective factor that takes into account the sensitivity of the various organs. And generally, usually we uh, use this parameter to understand the radiation dose coming from a CBCT scan. And uh, as I told you, our first experiences are uh, dated early 2000s and we made some uh, dosimetric evaluation and an evaluation of the dose absorbed by the organs and the effective dose. And we wanted to compare the conventional medical CT with the Combin computer tomography. And this uh, work was made uh, by Professor Sabina Strocchi and by Professor Aldo Macchi and all the team at the University of Varese. And uh, we uh, used the um, um, Anderson Raldo uh, Phantom. We placed some dosimeter and uh, we exposed this Phantom to different scan with the different machine in order to evaluate the effective doses. And uh, we wanted to compare basically these three machines, a conventional medical CT, the Toshiba 64 multi-slice, then a CBCT, a combined computer tomography, the one that was available at that time, the ICAT, and uh, then a, a digital uh, uh, orthopantomograph, the, the Sirona Orthophos. We wanted to compare the different doses, in particular the effective doses given to different organs 
by these uh, machines. And immediately we have seen that considering the absorbed dose in, uh, in, in milligray, we, we found that of course <clears throat> there was no competition because the conventional medical CT gives uh, much more radiation uh, than all the other, uh, the other two machines, obviously. But if we uh, uh, consider only the convincing computer tomography and the panoramic uh, radiograph, the digital panoramic uh, uh, radiograph, in this case uh, we see that uh, there's competition, I would say, and particularly for some organs, uh, the 3D uh, CBCT is capable, was capable at that time to give less radiation. So uh, these were the first evaluation, the first tables, considering the different organs with the absorbed doses. And we found that the CT was uh, playing in another league, but the combing computer tomography with the application of 20 seconds, in some cases, it was uh, very similar to the panoramic uh, radiograph. And uh, when we uh, shifted to the effective doses, uh, that is what we usually evaluate, in, in millisiever, we found that uh, according to the different application, we could have different doses and uh, the, the orthophos, the, the, the panoramic radiograph, uh, gave more or less the same effective doses given by the scombin computer tomography in the 10 second application. Obviously, uh, the Toshiba with the two different protocols, with the standard protocol, but also with the 200 mA protocol was uh, much higher in terms of effective doses. And uh, the results from this uh, first evaluation was that, of course, the, the medical CT delivers the highest effective doses with the two different protocols. And the doses delivered by combined computer tomography were, uh, of course, much lower than those of uh, computerized tomography. For, um, the, 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 the conclusions were very, I mean, easy. Combined computer tomography is capable to provide high quality images that are perfect for the dental purposes. And uh, considering this fact, uh, and considering that the, the doses, the radiation doses are much lower than those given by a medical CT, uh, it's of course, the, 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 ideal, um, the ideal tool for uh, dental and maxillofacial purposes in order to investigate the art tissues of, uh, of, of, of uh, the, oral, uh, the, the oral cavity and uh, also the, the maxillofacial district. So it no longer makes sense in this case uh, to use conventional medical CT in the dental maxillofacial areas because the radiation doses given can be even 22 times higher for a medical CT when compared to a combined computer tomography. <clears throat> and our evaluation were, and our numbers were uh, confirmed a few years later in the book by Schutiser and colleague uh, because they found basically with another machine in this case, uh, uh, with uh, uh, another machine for the, the medical CT, they found that more or less the, the, the numbers were the same and they confirmed our, our evaluation. And uh, obviously we have a significant dose reduction with CBCT when compared to the medical CT, a dose reduction that according to Schulze and colleague in this uh, paper published in Dental Maxillofacial Radiology in 2004 is up to 98%. Uh, so we are talking about something that is definitely under, not possible to discuss because it's uh, something obvious. And uh, other papers with different researchers involved, Ludlow and, and colleague, they, they confirmed that uh, we have of course a range and some variability across the, the dose uh, given by the different machine and using different application by the different combined computer tomographies, but anyway, the effective doses were uh, um, absolutely lower than those given by a, a medical CT. And uh, we have a dose reduction that is absolutely uh, out of discussion. And we have a variability between the different machines and between the different protocol among the different combined computer tomographies because Along the years, a lot of machines appeared in the market with different characteristics, different features. 
And uh, we can uh, summarize a little bit the, the results um, provided by these different studies and these different literature reviews. And we see that we have uh, uh, doses in microsiever that are comprised with uh, CBCT around 36.9, 50.3 microsiever compared to, um, for example, the digital panoramic and uh, the cephalometry and uh, the endora status. So we have to consider that anyway, the dose is higher than with 2D conventional radiography, but uh, much lower than the, the dose given by SCT. <coughs> and this literature review summarized a little bit all, the, all this aspect. And uh, the, the authors in this case uh, uh, shed the light on the fact that uh, uh, Obviously, there are big variation among the different machine uh, and uh, there are different protocols available with the different machine. And of course, it's not surprising that we can have uh, uh, big ranges uh, for, uh, for the doses given by the different combined computer tomography, depending on the application, as we can see here from these graphs and uh, also depending by the field of view because uh, the field of view is very important uh, the, the area that we are going to, to scan with our combined computer tomography is also very important uh, and uh, this systematic review more or less confirmed the, the evidence emerging from the previous studies and uh, Ludlow with, with another uh, literature review found that uh, there are also significant differences between the different combined to computer tomography that are available in the market. And uh, in this case, the author considered that the acquisition protocol is absolutely very important. And I think it's one of the most important things we should consider now, because now after 20 years, the combined computer tomography is very, I mean, is spreading in all over the world, uh, we, we can find CBCT in almost all dental offices. And so it's very important to apply the proper protocol in order to reduce the dose to the, to the patient and to follow the recommendation given by the different institution in terms of reduction of the, of the absorbed doses. Particularly interesting is this uh, uh, trend for searching low dose protocols in order to reduce the number of, uh, the, for example, projections. Uh, uh, and um, it's possible today with the modern machine to dramatically reduce the, the doses given by the patient following the standards given by the ALARA and ALADA principles. So uh, it is possible, for example, for diagnostic purposes, it does not affect the, the diagnostic capability when we use some low dose protocols and also low dose protocols are currently under investigation for other uh, I mean for other uh, applications such as for example guided implant surgery. Uh, this is a recent report from 2018 from the, the group of uh, Professor Ludlow and as we can see with uh, the most recent uh, machine in the, in the market, in this case CS9600, we can see that uh, we can have a further uh, dose reduction when uh, considering the different, for example, application protocol. And we have also uh, important low dose protocols that can help a lot uh, in order to, yes, uh, to allow the clinician to uh, make the proper diagnosis and treatment planning, but at the same time reduce a lot the, the radiation doses. As we can see from this um, last table, this is uh, the effective doses to the organ in microsievert. And as we can see, and if we compare these uh, values with the first values that I showed you at the beginning of this uh, uh, presentation, we see the evolution, the incredible evolution that we had along these 20 years because the machine became much more, I mean, easier to use uh, and uh, definitely they can uh, provide much uh, really high quality images, uh, much more than, uh, than before. And uh, at the same time, it is possible to dramatically reduce the dose given to the patient with a lot of benefits biologically. So. Uh, the, the, the evolution and the advancement have been amazing if you consider that with a 5 per 5 program we can have a low dose with 7 micro sievert and it's really impressive uh, in, the, in, in this application and from this table we can see that the evolution was amazing. 
So thank you very much for your kind attention and uh, please, uh, if you have some uh, questions or some doubts or criticisms, don't forget to, to write me because I'm, I'm here to, to, to answer to all the questions. Thank you.